Side, Smutex, long shot, stopped in front. They score on the rebound, a power play goal early. And it's the Western Leaguer, Rigby Burgart, putting up the visitors a minute and 16 into the game. Well, you shouldn't have bothered that coach about that statistic because <laughs> I think it might have made them a little mad. Came out with a, an early goal, 19 seconds into the power play. A 1-0 lead for Quinnell. They had a 2-0 lead last night against uh, Westside. Burgart, the goal scorer. Rumpel made the save on the point shot from the right side, but the rebound swept between his legs. 1-0 for Quinnell. Long pass through center. Tipped high and up into the air, landing in the millionaire's zone. Milan's the first one to it in the right corner. Turns on a dime. He'll play to the point. Stetcher, sharp angle shot. Rebound loose. They score! Milan back to the point to Stetcher, and a rebound tucked in up front. It's amazing what happens when you shoot. And that's a situation where Stetcher just put that puck on the net. Goaltender kicked the rebound out. And I think, who was it, Benick that popped at home? I think it was. We'll wait for the official word. It was Milan in the corner getting it back to the point. Stetcher put a low shot on as he spun. And the rebound lying loose in front, tucked in by the Bees. They've tied the game at one. In from center as they make changes. Onto the ace, that top line for the Vs again on the back end. Behind them, Bezo, as well as Lelegia. Lelegia centering, O'Donnell's got the rebound, shot, they score! McMillan on a lovely setup from O'Donnell. The top line strikes, it's 2-1. to one. You can't give the puck away to those three guys, I'll tell you what. That was just a wide open net that McMillan had to put that puck into a great pass by McDonald, and I think Probably Bezel will get an assist on that one too. Lelegia at the right point played it to the slot. That's where O'Donnell made that nice pass. How did he see McMillan there? Swung it right across the mouth of the crease. It's a tap in on the near side for McMillan. 2-1 the V's lead. And the Mills after a goal, a minute 16, now behind the V's as this top line looks for more. McCauley shot, scores! Wow! That was the, not the goal that was just scored. The Vs have exploded for three goals here in the first six minutes and six seconds. They lead three to one. That last one, McCauley, welcome aboard. A goal in his first game on another beautiful setup from Brendan O'Donnell. His second assist in 23 seconds, and the Vs are up three to one. That right circle, O'Donnell waits, fires, missed the net short side. McCauley has it on the left wall. McCauley to the right point for Lelegia. Left point, Benick. Pass to the right corner. O'Donnell gets there before a millionaire. Behind the net, Mark McMillan with it. Trying to play it back to O'Donnell in the corner. Now to the point it comes for Lelegia. Back to O'Donnell. Right circle, side of the net. Centering pass, shot McCauley. His second of the night, he scores. Got any doubt this guy's going to fit in on that line? I don't. I'll tell you what, he got a nice pass there from O'Donnell who gets his third point of the night and uh, the Vs take a 4-1 lead on the power play. Oh, he's got a big smile down there as he gets a tap from his line mates at the bench. McCauley has scored twice in his first 13 minutes of his BCHL career. The Vs have to like what they've put in the lineup tonight. McCauley would be liking that, his teammates, his line mates, and he'll like the BC Hockey League, I think. 12-22, they lost it at the line, although the Vs will are told they're onside by the linesman. They keep backing off as if they're offside, though. They, they knew they were offside. The linesman missed it. Back to get it at his own line. Goal line, that is, is Lelegia. His pass up the middle. Whiffing on it was Holka, and it's sent right back into the V's end by the Millionaires. Lelegia across to Banner. Off the wall for Holka. And there it is, the buzzer. You can chalk up another W for the V's. Their 23rd of the season, and what a debut for Miles McCauley. Two goals in his first 12 and a half minutes as a member of the V's. And I think uh, 
his first two of the year, he's got to be a confident guy and a happy guy that he's landed in Penticton. Anytime you, uh, you know, you step into a lineup, you get put on the first line and, and you have a night like that right off the bat, it's got to give you a lot of confidence. And, uh, you know, he, he just, uh, he really fit well on that line and was a good thing. That was one of the highlights for the V's uh, in tonight's game. But I'll tell you what, this was not a well-played hockey game. It, it wasn't a, it was a little bit ugly to watch actually, but no scoring after the first period. This was not a Picasso L, but the points will be exactly yeah. the same as any other win this season. And the V's keep their stranglehold on top spot in the interior conference. They're now five points ahead of the Salmon Arm Silverbacks, but the backs do hold two games in hand on the V's. And the Silverbacks and the V's play Friday, Saturday. What a big weekend on the way for the club. Huge weekend, huge weekend. The V's win this game by a final score of four to one. The third period of action brought to you by Cannery Brewing. Their Squire Scotch Ale won gold at the Canadian Brewing Awards in Toronto this fall for the best Scotch Ale in Canada. Find Cannery Brewing in the Cannery Trade Center in Penticton or at your favorite private liquor store. We'll return in three minutes time as the post-game show live from the Valley First Vault at the SOEC is on the way. The three stars and much more as well. These fans, the Christmas Charity Challenge is coming. Friday, December 10th, the Salmon Arm Silverbacks are in town. It could be a first place showdown, but more important than that, it's a great opportunity for a bunch of local businesses to raise thousands of dollars for local charities. All you need to do, get a very big crowd to the SOEC. If we get 4,000 fans, all the money gets given away. Get your advance tickets today for December 10th's game against Salmon Arm, the Christmas Charity Challenge.